So, you want to learn how to carve a skull from wax? Before we get started, I'll give you a quick rundown on how I carve my skull designs. Start by dividing the wax in half, then mark your eye line. Now it's time to drill the holes for the eye. Stage 2. Start rounding the top of the wax. Stage 3. Cut out under his cheekbones. This will create his top jaw. Stage 4. Start by shaping his eyebrows. Open up the eyes to give him more character. Then start building his nose and adding his teeth. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a skull ring in wax. All we're going to need is just a few basic wax carving tools. You're going to need dividers, files, toothbrush, pin vise, jeweler's saw, verniers, wax file, sandpaper and some burrs. Don't forget the soldering iron and wax. Also, we're going to need a micro motor. Now you're probably not going to have a workbench like this, but a table or bench will be more than adequate. All you're going to need to do is make a bench pin up. I'll put a link below to where you can purchase these tools. We won't be going into too much detail today, but we have more videos planned that will cover more advanced techniques and tips. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Start by sketching out your design or you can find a design you like on the internet. So using some dividers, we're going to mark out the size of the scale we're going to make. Then we'll start cutting. Tidy up the saw cut using the file. This can get a little dusty, so I recommend some safety glasses and a mask. No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. Keep it even. So the back of the wax, we want to taper. So I'm just going to mark out how much we're going to take off the back. Clean up using the file. Make sure it's even. There's a couple of ways you can get your finger size. So we could use a set of these, but today we're just going to use the verniers and we're going to get a rough idea of our finger size. And there we go, finger size. Now we're just going to mark it out on the wax. Use your dividers to transfer the size to the wax. Scribe some lines on both sides of the wax. Then, use a big ball burr to open up the hole. Clean up the hole using the file. As you're opening up the hole, always give it a check. Make sure that you haven't made it too big. This is fitting. It fits perfect! Also, you want to make sure that you keep your hole even. We need to divide this in half, then another line across here so we can work out where the eyes are going to go. Start marking out where you want his cheekbones to go. We want to start rounding off the top and reducing the size so it's going to start looking more like a skull. Next, we want to grab a file. Start filing under his cheekbones. Using a needle file, we need to cut up here. This is going to create his cheekbones. Now we have this shape, this is where his nose will go. 
Use the ball burr to add more details to the cheekbones. I'm going to use a bigger burr to make it a little quicker. Then I'm going to start hollowing out this section here and the same on the other side. So the next stage is to work on the eyes because they are going to bring the character to the skull. This is when I start to use a soldering iron to give the shape of the eyebrows. Add wax using the soldering iron. Be careful not to burn those fingers. We still have a lot more wax to remove. I need to shape his eyes so I can give him a little personality. I'm adding more wax to his forehead. This will help give him a little more shape to the skull. Using the soldering iron, start melting the wax. The wax will stick to the iron, then apply to the skull where needed. Just like an artist will apply clay to his sculpture. Don't worry if it looks a little messy, we're going to use the needle file to clean that up. This technique will take some practice. Use 180 grit sandpaper, it'll help smooth out those file lines. Just taking some more out from the side of the skull. It's all about just taking a little bit at a time, checking, make sure that it's even, and then uh, just keep on whittling away until you get to the stage where you like it, and then you move on to the next part. sand and shape. We need to take more wax from his temple. Just opening up the eyes a little. Top part of the skull is done. Now let's work on the nose. Using the iron, add some wax. Then start shaping the nose using a needle file. This is a technique I like to call wax on, wax off. Now I'm removing and shaping the arch of the cheekbone. You can see here I'm using the file like a scraper. Now I've got to start on the teeth, 
So I just want to take away some excess wax here and then there'll be a jawline that we can start working on. Also I can take a bit of wax out from the band and start shaping the back of the band as well. This a little bit shorter. I'm going to use this little tool to start marking out his teeth. You can make his teeth any size. Hell, you can just give him crazy teeth if you want. This is definitely the tool you want to use to shape the teeth. It's a pin vise with an old burr that I've just sharpened. The teeth are a little tricky, so take your time. Use the ball burr to add some detail to the gums. Now it's time to hollow out behind the teeth. Just remember, it's all about practice. No one's going to do a Picasso on their first time. I'm pretty happy with the way the skull looks so far, especially in the time that I've managed to do this. You guys should hopefully have something that looks similar. Now it's time to add your own personality into the skull. Looking good, looking good! If you have any suggestions or questions, leave them in the comments below. We have more videos like this to come, so if you like this one, you might want to watch this video next.